Hi, Arya Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures in New World. Last episode, we did some PvP quests, and we also gathered some wood. And we learned a new ability with our hatchet called Raging Torrent. So let's check this out. Nice little hatchet combo. We also learned about uh, if your settlement is not controlled by your faction that you're in, then your storage is not connected. So, the Covenant owned Monarch Bluffs last episode. And we are in first light. So I wanted to get storage from from uh, Monarch Bluffs, but I couldn't because the Covenant owned it. But guess what, guys? We got it back. The Marauders got back Monarch Bluffs. Shout out to the guild who, uh, who did that. Order of the Black Lotus. Good job, guys. And it's looking good for the Marauders right now. Doing pretty damn well. So let's check out the town board here. Oh, we got a flint quest. So we'll pick that up. That's an easy one. Bruising crude armaments. So let's pick that up. So we'll be going out today. Lumberjack needed. We need some aged wood. I think that's, an, that's enough for now. Let's check out the, the PvP quest. For some reason, our PvP quests came back up. I guess we didn't turn them in. Like, I tried to turn them in, but I didn't get anything for it. So, now that makes sense. Maybe we'll get something for it now. Let's turn some of these in. I salute you, fellow marauder. We will never give up the fight. Come in the end. There we go. Now we're getting some tokens. Victorious. Our reputation's capped, but at least we got some tokens there. So let's see if we can buy some rewards. Maybe we can get some gear. We have enough for a long sword. Also, shout out to Marius Enigma. I was asking people uh, in the last couple of videos um, that I wanted to keep uh, my armor light so I can roll around, and he told me to use, uh, I believe, medium I armor for my chest marauder. and then light for everything else. Never give up the so I'm going to focus on that. Let's see, what the fight. Let's see what we got right now. Right now we have a, a medium chest. And then I guess we need to keep everything light, like light helmet, light light headwear, light boots. We have medium everything else, though. And we're still pretty damn light. I, salute you, I guess having a medium marauder. chest is best. We will never give up the fight. I salute you, fellow marauder. We will never give up the fight. Never give up the fight. Hunt in the marauder end. soldier breastplates is heavy. We don't want that. Heavy, heavy. These are the light stuff. He light head for a thousand. Not bad. Should we get that? Four intelligence, six focus, and a gem slot. Okay. I don't know if we really want focus and intelligence, do we? What does the heavy stuff give? Dexterity and constitution? Yeah, that's pretty good. What does this give? This is the meat. Strength. Marauder soldier pants. Medium legs, dexterity, constitution. Marauder occultist seal. I wonder what those are for. Use at the blacksmith and outfitting station to change the attributes of Marauder faction armor to intelligence and constitution. Okay, so we can pick up the light stuff. And then it'll change the stats on it. Okay. What's this? Ice gauntlet. I assume these are light pants. And then you got a gem sock socket in it. So I guess we'll pick up the light gear. We have uh, 1,800. So we can get the... I guess we want a medium chest. I wonder if there's a chest piece here. Or a medium chest piece. These are the medium legs. A medium helmet. That's the medium chest. So maybe we'll get the medium chest. I think that'll be the plan. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll get the medium chest. Perfect. Getting some gear, guys. Let's see what this medium chest looks like. 
And I'm going to have to figure out some stuff about sockets. Is this light? Damn it. So we had a light chest, or medium chest. This one's a little too heavy. We're now medium geared. Hmm. Which means we need light. We need to get some light gloves and some light boots. I salute you, but we can't purchase marauder. anything. We will never give up the fight. And in the end, How much are the light chests and light boots? Victorious. 500. Light boots, light legs. Okay, we're going to do some PvP quests today. We're going to get more gear, guys. That's what we're going to focus on. You, fellow marauder. Let's take all of these. We we'll we'll do whatever we can. Fight. And in the end, we will emerge victorious. And while we're out there, we will... Uh, we will... Um, Chop some wood, stuff like that, gather some stuff. Actually, but we won't have roll today, guys. It's gonna be a little bit slower until we get what we need. Hopefully we can find some gear. Looks like we want boots, light boots and light gloves. I wonder if we could just make it. I don't want to worry about that. Oh, some honey. Never say no to free stuff. Some food here. There we go. And let's go find our storage. Because we do have 158. Should probably lower that a bit. We have a lot some wood on us. I also want to see if our uh, storage is connected now. So we did have a decent amount of iron in Monarch Bluffs. Yeah, we can now access. Are you sure you want to transfer this item? It costs you 10 gold. Okay, no. Do we have any light gloves in here? Oh, wow. I might actually transfer this stuff. Yeah, duelist pants. These are actually better than our other pants. How much is this going to cost me? 24 gold? How much gold do we have? It's still kind of cheap. I don't know if that's worth it, though. They're better than our other pants. The thing is, we just need boots. We need boots and, and gloves. Light gloves. Okay, we'll take these. This will allow us to roll. I think that's kind of worth... And then we just need light boots. And that should work. I think our only light boots are like these guys. Oh, yeah, look at these guys. The musketeer boots. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you, Marius, for that. That's what we will work on. And, uh, yeah, we'll put this stuff in our bag. Probably have to get rid of this stuff later. I think we'll just focus on just doing some quests today. I'm not going to craft any of this stuff. Do we have anything else to put in there? I think our food's okay. Tools are pretty good. I guess we'll... Let's salvage that. We actually have an iron here. Put that in there. 75 iron so we can craft. It's one thing about this game. There's like so much to do. You just don't know what to do. We have a lot of food now. We get like 48 weight in food. Um, maybe we'll go to the food station and just make a bunch of stuff. I don't know where that is, though. It's the alchemy station. I'll try to find that. If we don't find it, we'll just... We'll just leave. We'll just leave and not worry about, about it too much. Yeah, I think we'll just leave. We'll just get out and start questing. Looks like this entrance... Entrance up here would be a better place to go to. Maybe we'll find the food 
table on the way out. But it was nice getting that gear upgrade. That was great. So much stuff in this game that I don't know about. So it is good to learn. And I like this new chest. Looks much better than our light one, that's for sure. Okay, so here we go. We got a lot of food on us, but whatever. It's time for us to uh, finish up some quests. And we need to gather some flint. So I'll make sure we do that. And the Marauders are doing pretty damn well. It'd be nice to go back to Monarch Bluffs and farm some iron. I think that'd be a good thing to do. And it was also cool to, to learn that, yes, we are able to transfer items, but it costs gold, which is fair. I think that's fair that it costs gold to, to make the transfer. I can't believe I was honestly thinking about transferring this stuff manually, but I guess that's what you would have to do if, uh, if you lost your town and, like, you didn't think it was going to, uh, come back to you. But I don't think it's a good idea for me to keep, uh, all my stuff there. Who's this guy? Is he level 60? Yeah, he is. <laughs> Gotta watch out for that guy. <laughs> so we'll chop some wood in the meantime. Looks like we gotta show our strength here. So we'll head over to number two. I think that's the closest one. It's gonna be nice when we can get our... Uh, our wood chopping to 50. Then we'll be able to chop the mature trees. I think that's gonna take some time, but... We'll get there. Yeah, if you guys have any tips, just tell me in the comments. I don't mind. At all. Because I am, uh... Playing a lot of different games, so it's hard for me to keep up on the, the meta for every game I'm playing. Especially the new ones. I, I do keep up on WoW pretty well, but um, with this with the new games like New World and uh, I wouldn't say Diablo 2 is a new game. I'm just a noob in Diablo 2. It's hard for me to really keep up, so. Anything really helps. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. Got to go north, 330 meters away. And I think the goal right now is just to get our uh, our faction set. And then once we get that, we'll go back and I guess we'll try to farm. Some, we'll try to farm some iron while we're doing this. Hopefully, we can find some. If we can't, then whatever it is, what it is. We'll keep farming wood and trying to get our, our ranks up as we can. And I also learned that we don't really need to uh, to craft, um, get our engineering to 50 last episode, because we actually have an iron logging axe that has a chance to get Azoth, which is great. So we can just, uh, you know, just keep on crafting with Azoth and uh, do that with all of our tools and eventually we'll have a bunch of Azoth farming tools. So I'm, in, I'm not in too much of a rush of getting my engineering up, so we're just going to focus on getting here with the faction quests and uh, getting back into the MSQ. Who's this guy, dude? Is he 60? Oh yeah, he's 60, dude. Oh man, should we try to fight him? We're going to get sent back to town. We're gonna have to eat pretty damn soon. Can't eat. It's crazy how, like, he just like, one shot us. Should we go across the bridge? Let's see if he'll follow us to the bridge. Let's have a bite to eat, too, while we're hanging out here. He's still chasing us? I 
He's just wrecking everybody. Oh, they got him. Thanks, guys. Damn it, I wish I helped. I wish I was not such a low level, because I would have fought there. <laughs> Damn it. It would have been nice to, like, get some hits in. But the cool thing is, he didn't one-shot me, so... That was cool. Usually they do one-shot you. In, uh, MMOs. When, like, somebody's, like, that much higher of a level than you, like, double your level, usually you get one-shot, so... It's cool how, in this game, that doesn't really occur. I really like this new uh, chess piece we got. Okay, so what do we have to do? Stand our ground for snow. Oh, yeah, this, we did this yesterday. Look at all these guys. We gotta join a killed, man. It'd be cool to just do an episode of what, and just... Green will continue to be purged. What's that mean? Okay, so we have to stay here for... about to hold this place for 50 seconds. Okay, so let's start chopping trees, I guess. Oh, it's a mature one. Yeah, it's going to be cool to try out the group play. I think that's where the real, like, fun in the game is. Like, the group PvP, PvE, all that stuff. I do enjoy just hanging out, though, and, and just farming and just checking out the world and exploring. That's a lot of fun, too. Especially a new world that you've never, like, you know, been, been, been to before, so... Yeah, it's a lot. There's a lot to learn. And I think we're probably going to hit a thousand A's off today. So I might bring the iron over. I think that might be a good idea. And we will uh, try to make a bunch of A's off tools if we can. It looks like we did. We showed our strength. Do another couple PvP missions here. I guess we'll go north. There's a couple right up here. Looks like the way to go. There's only one out across the bridge, and the bridge is kind of a mission to get get across. We also need to cl collect some flint. Five, right? I'm sure five would be the number. Need to get some antlers, then we need to search chests for Bezor's stone at Abadir's anger. I think once we get up there, we will um, put down a camp. I'm feeling majority of people are probably... I wouldn't say majority, but probably a decent amount of 60s now. It's been a... Be close to close to a month. Okay. One place where I think is a great place to have a, a camp here is is across this bridge because it's a pain, like between these two forts. I think it's a really good spot to have a camp. Well, that bridge is, it's fun to fuck go across there. You gotta fight a bunch of stuff, but. It's one hell of a journey. So there we go. We almost have all the flint we need. I think we more than enough now. I'll just keep going towards five and four here. Supposedly we're at the spot we want to be. I guess it's underground? I'm gonna fight this wolf. 
Oh, I think that's it over there. That's one of those, uh, chests? Yeah. The contents. We're gonna have to deliver this. Okay, so we got the secret asset. Now we have to go and find out where the the other asset is. Okay, well, I think it's over here. Because three's across the water. But there's another one. Which one's this? Hunt Grey Wolf. Okay. Bring back your bounty. Skin them for premium hide. Okay, so we'll hunt some Grey Wolves. This turkey just got in our way. Oh! Gonna watch out. Nice. Hopefully we can get a good hide here. We got a vial of withered essence. I wonder what that is. It's crafting. Use this resource when crafting to get the following effect. Beloved, you generate 5% less threat. So I guess threat is a mechanic in... Um, in uh, New World, it's a one hell of an annoying mechanic in Classic WoW. I'm not a fan of it. Um, one of the reasons why I'm not a fan of it is because as a DPS, you're kind of like DPS capped based on how much threat your tank can pull. So I'm kind of hoping like that's not really a, a mechanic in New World PvE, but... Maybe it makes more sense in New World than it does in WoW, because they took it out of WoW. Like, tanks kinda don't really have that much trouble holding threat in retail, but in Classic, it's just, it's a real pain. And you kinda have to get your tank geared up as fast as you can with, uh, pieces that generate threat, or, like, your rage just has to, like, sit back and wait for them to build it up. Which is not that bad, but thing in WoW is people really care about parsing. I assume parsing is not a, a thing in New World, probably. And if you guys know what parsing is, you're pretty much competing, trying to do the most amount of DPS that you can in the fight. And you're competing with people on your server or worldwide for ranks. And uh, players like to parse, especially DPS players. And I don't think that's a thing in New World. So, maybe uh, the threat mechanic will be actually pretty good. Nice, Silver Vein is our first one. And it looks like we did the wolf one. Now we have to go here. Prove your valor by tracking them down. Alright, so we'll head over there. I think we got enough of, uh, got enough skins. Got another turkey here. I think turkey's one of my favorite meats. Puts you to sleep, but it tastes pretty damn good. Okay, gotta watch out. She's tough. Keep collecting flint. It seems to be a popular um, quest in this uh, on the town board. I guess just holding on to a bunch of it's worth it. Just turn it in right away. What's over here? That was crazy. I really like that combo. You do like one, two, three with the hatchet, and then you use a uh, raging torrent. You know what? 
I don't think I'm going to collect every flint that I see, but <laughs> I'm kidding, kind of. I'm going a little overboard here. One, two, three. Look at all that damage. It's crazy. Get over here. Okay, so I don't know what we're supposed to do here, but I think we're probably supposed to go on the ship. So that seems to be uh, where, the, where the map's telling us to go. So let's, look, let's see what's downstairs here. This guy's tough. Well, looks like he's powering up here. So we're almost Azoth, Catherine. 890. Sounds like someone else is upstairs as well. I don't think there's anything else for us to pick up. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Some sandpaper. Some more sandpaper. I don't think there's anything else down here for us to collect. Crazy, that combo does like pretty much 60% of their health. This guy's got a shield. Let me give him a bit. Ooh, nice shot. We got a Covenant player here. So I wonder if we're supposed to be here. The Marauders need Quartermaster Zebelin removed from the theater. Prove your valor by tracking them down in Nyhart's anchorage and destroying them. Quartermaster Zebelin. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Speak speaking of the devil. Okay, here we go. How's it going? Oh, this guy's no joke. Pretty damn strong. Whoa, don't hit me with that. Not going to have our buffs soon. I gotta watch out. Stuck. Oh, hey. Hey, thanks for finishing them off for me. Okay. Covenant player does a lot of damage. Look, he's a mage. We only got white pants. What's that damage? What level he is. He's 30. Yeah, he's pretty high for this this place. Okay, so we finished that off. I guess we'll go over here at the Clearwater Bend. And we'll uh, see what's going on there. Get another quest. The thing is, though, we're not getting a lot of these quests completed. Unless they're just not showing up on my right-hand side here. There's the, there's the asset we have to deliver. I think we should probably do that instead. Maybe we'll do three. We can jump down here. I don't know if we'll go north. I really want to deliver the asset. Where's four, though? Oh, they're all the way up here. Oh, okay. Four and five. We have some missions in, uh, in Monarch Bluffs. Okay. So we'll do, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do this asset quest, and then we'll do three, and then we'll head back to town. <laughs> And then I'll try to... I gotta start using at least a little bit of this Azoth. I wonder if there's a way for us to cross this without having to take the bridge. Probably not. We should hit level 19 today. 
I wonder when the levels start to take a while. I assume probably after 30. It's been pretty smooth from, uh, from 10 to 20 so far. We are, we do have uh, the NXP bonus, which plays a big factor in how fast we level. So it's looking like we can run across here. I'm just going to use this as a shortcut. Yeah, maybe we can just go to the... Oh, okay. Not a shallow over there. I guess it's good that you can't swim, because... If you could swim... Then... I don't know, just get to places faster. <laughs> I don't know if that's really a bad thing. Maybe they're going to add swimming. Maybe it'll be, like, something you have to earn. That would be kind of cool. A little bit of flint here. This will be, like, our last little batch of flint that we pick up. Yeah, I think swimming would be nice to, to be, like, a quality of life thing to have. But you don't want people just to be able to get around the map super quick, I guess, right? But I think people don't really have that issue. They just need days off to fast travel. Let's see if we can get through here. Yeah, there's the delivery. Nice. We're doing these quests pretty damn quick. I think that's how people do, like, uh, speed leveling. They just do these quests quick, and then they, like, have a home in one s settlement, and then they have their hearth, or whatever they call it. Their, you know, it's, hearth would be, like, it's like a WoW term, but... <laughs> they probably have, like, an, an inn that they go to on another settlement, and they just uh, go back and forth and just do all the quests in that zone. We'll probably leave first light pretty soon, I think. I think we've, uh, it'd be nice to ex explore all the zones before we hit 60. Looks like we have somebody here. Okay. They're marauders. Should be safe. I think they're doing the same quest as us. They are looking for uh, some links. And they want, uh... Okay, I just got to destroy them. You don't need to obtain anything from them. There's one. No! Get him! Yeah, that's one. Nice, he's going to let me skin it. What a nice guy. Not contesting? I wonder what he'd be contesting. I wonder what he means by that. The FL fort is clear. Oh, this guy went. There he is. Okay. I wonder, we can, I wonder what happened to him. It doesn't look like we can skin him. It looks like he disappeared. Alright, so we need one more of these links and then we can uh, head back. I think they were talking about the fort we were looking at yesterday. Maybe there's uh, enemies there. Because they may uh, try to take take first light. It's going to be hard for the Marauders to defend all of these, you know, zones. I think they have how many now? Like five? Two, three, four, five, yeah. I 
All right, so where is this last Lynx? I do know is that they don't hang out on the beach. We'll check across the street here. One thing I do notice about this zone, there's no... I haven't seen any iron, so. Looks nice. It's a nice looking zone, but I'm not a fan of, uh, of the resources here. Good amount of trees, though. I think that's every zone. Is that a lynx? No, it's a rabbit. Let's just go this way. They say three's over here, though, so maybe there is a, like a lynx around here. to go back. I wish they had like 10 of them or like, imagine there's like 50 links. <laughs> you just get wrecked. <laughs> That'd be funny if they had like an event like that. Where it was just a bunch of uh, like big spawns in an area. And then people could like, you know, fight over the the resources, right? Because that would be a lot of, uh, be a lot of hide. You can get your hands on all that. I think that's why they keep the, keep it low. So it's like, I guess it adds, you know, more rarity to the, to the materials. Oh, come on. There's got to be one more. The last one can't be the worst one to find. This one was a pain last episode, too. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really... It's probably... I'm never doing this one again. Should have went north. But I wanted to deliver that, uh... That package. I don't want to go too far away, either, from three. Because then I think they might not be spawning there. <laughs> Probably have to go to a new area. Is that one over there? I remember fighting one over here yesterday. Hear that? Yeah, that was a. It's cool. You can hear them. I heard a purr in my headset. Ooh, wow. Look at that. All right, so there we go. Finish that off. We're at 901 Azoth now. Alright, so now it is time for us to head back to town. And that is right over here, 900 meters away. We haven't used any Azoth to fast travel yet either. I think I'll probably only use that when we want to go to a new area. Interested to see if we can actually fast travel here. 
Nope. But we can, uh, we fast travel there. What about over here? Anywhere you haven't been, you can't fast travel. Okay, so that's good. I think you gotta get, like, a level one territory standing, probably. That's good. You actually have to go and explore it before you can fast travel there. Alright, so I think we may have to go over the bridge. Yeah, we're probably going to be taking the bridge. Let's make sure we don't fall. What's up there? We don't have a we don't have a campfire up so probably don't want to die. We got these guys together. Or we grouped them all up yesterday. don't have our food buff. Like Probably make a new hatchet. I think that would be worth it. Like somebody... Oh, great. Right when I eat something, the guy hits me. Food. I guess we got a travel ration from that. I can group all these up. Get this guy over here. I'm gonna chop him up. An officer's coat. I think this guy can knock you off. Probably can't, so we're not gonna jump. Let's bring him over here. Suck to get knocked off. Oh my gosh. Get over here. Oh! Gosh. We didn't do that too well. We got stuck in that little crevice. But yeah, this uh, bridge is no joke. You gotta. F well, you can run by everything. I could just run like this, and I'll be good. Hit me pretty hard there. All right, we made it back. We're on the safe side of the island. I wonder if we're going to be able to get some upgrades. I hope we can. Might get a hatchet if we have enough points. Nice to get a hatchet. I think they got some fighting going on here.
Look at this group. Imagine this group ran up on you. I've been ganked like this by the syndicate. Looks like that guy's safe. He doesn't have the PvP on. I think they have a, a fight coming soon. So maybe that's why they're... Uh, they're around here. I think the syndicate are trying to take first light. Okay, so here we go. We're back in first light. And let's uh, turn in some of these quests. Hey, we got Monarch Bluffs back. Yeah, everybody's happy about that, all the Marauders. Yeah, it's pretty good to get Monarch Bluffs back. So I think it's a great zone. So let's head over to the ship. That's where we want to go. It's just up here. Nice, we got five done Never today. Give up the fight. The That's level 19, guys. 2,000 tokens. Let's see if they have a hatchet for us. 2,500 for the hatchet. Should we save up? Or should we get some light boots and some light pants? I think, let's see where our, our worst gear is. Okay, clearly the pants and the helmet. I salute you, fellow marauder. I think. We'll never give up the fight. Just because they're green doesn't mean marauder. they're good, right? We will never give up the fight. Come in the end. Never to give up the fight. Victorious. So we got a helmet here and the pants, so it'll be twelve fifty. So we can only get one. I think we'll go with the helmet. Or should we keep the hat we got? I guess we'll go with the helmet. We'll see what this helmet looks like. Let's check our inventory. It's too bad we couldn't get uh, get both. So yeah, we got a new helmet. I'm gonna have to look into what these sockets are all about. Maybe we'll get some gems. Let's see how we look here. Oh, we got a little regal haircut now. No more blue hair. I guess they consider that a helmet. <laughs> all right, so there we go. We turned in some guys. We're also level 19. Let's see what we can upgrade here. Looks like we have a territory standing upgrade with first light. I think we'll uh, we'll lower the trading tax, and then we have next level of constitution increases max health by ten percent of your physical armor. Negative ten percent reduction on durability loss for tools. It's pretty good. Or we can focus into strength, five percent damage to melee weapon light attacks. And then 10% mining speed. So it's health or damage. I think we'll do with damage. So we're going to start going into strength. Even though I don't think we need more damage. I think we're pretty... I think choosing constitution up to 50 was a good choice. And now... It's time for us to make some tools. I'm starting to get to know First Light a little bit better as a town, I think. <laughs> we'll head over to the storage here, and I think we're going to bring the iron over. And we're going to make a bunch of tools. Okay, so we have some iron here. Put that in here. Get rid of this. We could cut up some wood. I think that'd be a good idea. Maybe we'll do that right now. Wood things right over here. It's a great place for crafting. They have this storage being right there is really good. Oops, so that's not the wood. It's a workshop. Wood things over here, right? It's a stone cutter. Oh no. 
Where do we cut the wood here? Right over here. Alright, so let's make as much timber as we can. There we go, level 41 timber cutter. Or woodworking, I should say. <laughs> and we can get woodward planks. So we'll, I guess we'll hold on to that and we'll check out Monarch Bluffs. And we'll get this iron transferred over. And we'll turn that into... You know, smelt that down into iron bars. There we go. And then we'll craft some stuff. See what we can craft. Would it be workshop? Yeah, that's where you make the tools. Let's see if we can get iron tools here. Flint tools. Speaking of flint, got to turn in the flint quest. Iron skinny knife. What do what don't we have? Leathers. Okay, I think we have a good amount of leather. We were collecting some. Oh, that puts us at over encumbered. Is there any way, way for me to thing is we can walk over. Can't even do abilities while you're over in cumber. This is where you can cut gems. Okay. And I want to go over here. I think. We want to... It's coarse leather. So I gotta do something with these hides. I gotta make coarse leather. Okay, so we're gonna put the we're gonna put the iron away. Hold on to the, the food for I guess. I don't know, put all these away. Like chest, heavy glove. Should probably uh, salvage all that. Lights a really good town for the syndicate. The syndicate guys like right where the crafting is and the storage. It's pretty damn good. Hey, the tannery. Let's make a bunch of coarse leather. There we go. Our leather working up to 34. And now we'll make a bunch of tools with Azoth. Yeah, we gotta get the iron. <laughs> okay. There we go. Get the wood. Get get the... Yeah, we're good to go. There we go. Let's do this. This should be enough. Okay, so we need a skinning knife. We're gonna add as much Azoth as we can. And we're going to craft... Uh, we're not going to craft all of it. We'll craft like three. Because we don't need a logging axe. We need a mining pick and a sickle. We'll craft like five, actually. See what we get. Durability. I think this all gives me durability. I don't know if that's good. Durability. Izoth extraction. Okay, that's a good one. Skinning luck. While skinning, 3.6% chance of finding rare items. What do you think's better? Az I don't think we're having Azoth issues. I don't think... I think the rare item one's probably the one we want. Because yeah, I think, yeah, we don't really have uh, Azoth issues. Not yet, anyways. Durable, durable. I guess we'll get rid of this one. Yeah, we'll salvage that. That's the one we'll keep. Got our engineering to 20. That's good. So now we have a skinning luck knife. Is this one a skinning a luck one too? This one's just durable. So I guess we'll use this one. And we'll salvage this. And then we'll look into... Uh, 
mining pick, yeah. Not a flint one, though. We add some Azoth to it. And we can only craft seven, so I think I'll craft, like, four? I really want to get a decent mining pick, but we'll see what we get. Mining luck. While mining, gain a chance of finding a rare item. Yes. We'll go with the luck for now. This one's really nice, though. I think we'll keep it. 223 on that one. And then we have the sickle that we need. And we need to get... I guess we'll make three sickles. Wait. One on iron sickle. I guess we'll make three... Four. We'll make four sickles and then we'll make a couple logging axes after. Just the logging axe. Oh, wait. No, no, no. We didn't put Azoth in it. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay, we'll salvage all of these. Take the green one. That's too bad. Um, should we make a logging axe? Or how many we can make? Only one? Okay, we'll go for it and see what we get. Just a durable axe. This one's killed onto it. So we got a new sickle we'll use. We have a green one already. What's this one do? Gain 4.4% more harvesting experience. That's pretty good. 12% more. I guess we'll take the resources. And then we have a new a mining pick that gives us a chance of getting better items. And then we have the axe. I guess the other... I guess we'll get rid of this one. And we'll just put the other ones in our storage. Yeah, we got our engineering up to, uh, to a decent amount. We can do get a dryad walking stick, a venerable recurve, and a hunter's long shot. Make some new weapons. Still haven't been able to find the, the food crafting table. We'll have to try to find that this next episode. Probably walked by it a bunch of times. Probably near the where this food is, I would assume. But this is the trading post, right? Maybe in here is where you make food. No. It's just a trading post. All right, well, that is going to be the end of today's episode. Got a solid amount of gear upgrades, and we leveled up some of our professions. I think next episode we may uh, head out of First Light, and we may uh, maybe we'll go over to Windsward, see what's going on there. We got some quests available there, and see what it's like being in a, a syndicate controlled zone. That is the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.